It's that time again. It's another beer unboxing, and this time from the Fuss Club. Keep on watching to see what beers we'll be drinking in the next month. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. It's my favourite time of the month. It's a beer unboxing video and today is from the Fuss Club. Now, regular watchers of the channel might think, wait a minute, it was only a few days ago, Rocker, that you were unboxing them beers from Polly's. Yeah, yeah okay, so I did get some beers from Polly's, but I didn't want to sort of, I decided that I'm not going to review lots of those on the channel because I've done a lot of Polly's beers recently and I, and I don't want, you know, people to think that, you know, this is a sponsored by Polly's uh, um, beer channel. Um, so I've, I'm basically going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do a review a couple of them over the next sort of few weeks, but generally not going to review that many of them. Um, and I'm going to concentrate on reviewing the beers I've got here from the Fuss Club because I've got some more wintry sort of beers as well as some of the you know your normal sort of new england's that I'm, I'm a big lover of so more of these beers will get reviewed so let's crack open the the box and see what we've got in store you know i, I always i always love this sort of side of things because i just love getting the beers beers out of the box and seeing the actual cans you know straight on when when normally you know you see them on the web on the internet and you think yeah i mean look sounds good but when you actually hold them in your hands it certainly looks a lot better okay so we've got well we've got some some sort of special stuff we've got a, a beer mat we've even got a little patch and stuff always always great when they when they do those sort of things stuff that's on here. I'm going to move this to the side a little bit. Move some of this bump out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what we've got. Okay. So the first beer that I'm going to pull out of here is one that I've definitely been looking forward for for a while. This is um, a beer from Arbor Isles. It's their um, Fate Alaska pudding IPA. Now, it's been around a, uh, a while, but I haven't ever been able to manage to get hold of it. Um, and then I've seen it now and they've obviously rebrewed it. Um, and this is a New England IPA brewed with vanilla, citra, El Dorado and mosaic hops. I've seen a few reviews, looks pretty good. And I just, I've always wanted, this is the one arbor I've always wanted, always wanted to get. And it's in a big pint can. So we'll be definitely probably be reviewing that one. Let's get to see where, where we are with that. Okay, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna have, not, I won't be able to put them there. I'll put them in the front there so you should be able to see them. Okay, next beer I won't be reviewing because we've reviewed it already. This is the Bruce. I really like this one from Overtone. This was the IPA uh, with the um, uh, with the Bruce hop blend with lots of sort of New Zealand sort of hops. Really good, but you know, obviously I reviewed that. So check out the review um, on the on the channel for the for the Bruce. I've done the I did the Betty as well, which was the sort of one that went with that. The nightmare with this box. This seems to be pretty big. Actually, let's get the box down. That's better. You can see what we've got now. Okay. Next beer. So we've got another overtone, but this one is a pale um, and Zaka. Pale or Zaka, so even. Um, so this is a pale out 5.5%. Again, one of my favourite hops is a Zaka. It's quite strange that it still had, usually it's got Columbus in it as well. So even though it's called Power Zaka and it's an Zaka sort of hopped beer, always got, they've got something else in it as well. So maybe it needed something else. But I'm just a massive fan of a Zaka, but I've never really had it on its own. I just find that beers with it are pretty good. Okay, so we've got a few here from Daya. This is a brand new one. This is called... I'm trying to remember what it's called now. Stop Making Sense is a 6.2% IPA. They're nice looking art can of the old croc. This is a fruity banger. It says so on the can there. Um, Mosaic, Muteka and Strata. So, I mean, they are, they are always always good beers. Okay, so we've got another bit of beer here from Pomona Island. Now, I always see loads of these, but I, I don't know why I never usually buy them. Um, but I thought it's about time I bought one. So this is a 5.6% Palau. It is called Hissing Fauna. Um, what's it got in it? Beer. That's what it's got in it. I'm sure this one's got... Uh, oh, yeah, it's got, yeah, it's got Nelson Sorvin and Holotol Blank in it. So, you know, again, more of the sort of New Zealand-style hops. Okay. 
Next one. Well, we seem to have gone on quite a lot with Overtone this month. This is a, a, another one, which is a, a Vic Secret. It's called Vic Secret, but again, it's got Vic Secret and it's got another half of Citra in it. Um, I do like Vic Secret. So it's a very, very good pineapple flavoured sort of hop. Uh, another one from Daya. Uh, this is The Other Side. It's another new one from them. Uh, again, this has got Strata Mateca on it as well, and Nelson and Sabro. So, a good combination of different hops there. Okay, we've got uh, a beer from Cloudwater, always make good beers. Uh, this is an IPA, bright and juicy, called Inner Realm. Um, again, I, I seem to have picked a lot. There's another one with a New Zealand hopped beers. I mean, I do like New Zealand hops. But this is a, a cloud water one. They always make great beer. Okay, so we've got the fourth overtone. I didn't realize how many overtone I bought, but this one is a little bit different. And this one I will probably definitely be reviewing because this is a coconut latte stout, 9%. Um, it's called Coconut Froth. There we go. Stouts on the channel. Would you ever believe it? But again, Overtone make great beers. So let's see what they like with their stouts. I've had great IPAs. I've had great parallels. I've had great sours from Overtone. But this is a, so this is my first of the stouts that I'm going to have from them. Another one from Daya. You'll see to have quite a lot of Daya's, but I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to review. This is a, a called uh, what's it called? We'll take it off the we'll take it off the zombies. Yeah, another uh, juicy IPA with Simcoe and Idaho Seven. Big 500 mil can, dogs are good. Next beer, now this one's a bit different. It's a pastry sour. I don't even, I've had sours. I don't even know if I've had a, a pastry sour, but this is by Pastore. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Carlotta de Mil. It's a pastry sour and it's basically got spiced apple, vanilla, smooth oat body, light acidity. Sounds pretty good. It says it's fermented with our fresh uh, mixed culture, conditioned on apple, apricot, cinnamon, and vanilla. So I thought that'd be pretty Christmassy and something a bit different. Looks good. Okay, so you might have seen the polys. Well, I've actually got another polys, but this is actually a, a polys and verdant. Verdant, I'm going to start calling it Verdant instead of Verdant. I've always called it Verdant, but I'm going to call it Verdant because I think that's what it's called. Verdant, but this is a big hit. This is a double IPA. It's a called Fashion is Danger, 8%. Uh, a collaboration between Verdant and, um, and Polly's. Idaho 7 on the hot side, Citra Nelson Sorvin. So, yeah, I think this one's going to be a, a really good beer. Looks pretty good, certainly by the, by the cover. And obviously two of my favourite breweries uh, combining. So you expect something pretty good from that. And then the last one on here is another stout. This one is a big cinder toffee stout. Again, heard great things from this one. This is uh, from uh, Bristol Brewery, and it is a blow-torched honeycomb, 6.5%. They do a sort of a milder version. This is their big version of it, hence why it's called Big. Um, again, it's like a, it's supposed to, it's marketed as a as a chocolate crunchy in a can, basically. So we'll see if that uh, lives up to expectations. Um, I'm not sure, but I've also got a vocation honeycomb stout, which is going to be it's probably similar to this. Haven't? I'm, by the time this video comes out, you may have seen, I might have reviewed it, but if I haven't, it'll be interesting to see how that compares with that. So these are the beers for, you know, pretty much up till, probably up till Christmas. We'll probably, we'll put a few supermarket beers in there as well, but probably in terms of my online orders, this is probably uh, going to be it now until, until Christmas. So I think a pretty good selection. We've got a sour, we've got a sour in there, we've got a pudding IPA, we've got a couple of stouts, and we've got a lot of the sort of New Zealand style uh, beers in there as well. But pretty good selection. Let's say I'm not going to be reviewing all of these, but you know, they'll certainly, certainly the stouts, certainly the different ones like that, you know, the, the quirkier ones like the um, the pudding IPA will definitely review. The sour will definitely review, and the stouts as well will definitely review, and, and maybe maybe some of the others as well. We'll see how we how we get on this month and how uh, how many videos will we do. So, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, 
Again, this is probably the last unboxing video until of uh, 2021. Um, which one of these beers have you had and you liked? Let me know in the comments. Or is there any beers on here you think, oh, I really wanted to see what that one's like. I really want you to review that one, Rocker. So let me know if there's ones that you specifically want me to review and I will make my darnest to review it for you guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sure I said that already once. And until the next one, you know what you've got to do. Keep on rocking.